Hi guys, I'm Arvind Shinoy and today we're going to look at how we can use uh, Sony's proprietary software which is Imaging Edge Desktop to actually edit batch files, multiple files which have been probably shot with similar settings. As you all know, uh, we've had a lot of issues with Sony colors when it comes to editing skin tones especially. And when you're editing it on software like Adobe, uh, you will find that skin tones look very washed out and look a little greenish and it doesn't really look the way it was shot on the camera. And that's the reason why uh, it's best to use the Sony's proprietary uh, software, which is your Imaging Edge desktop. But as you guys know, Sony's Imaging Edge desktop comes with a very bad interface, which looks very uh, dated and you don't really know what is where, uh, right from the interface to the colors to everything that's used there. But still, there are times when you have to use it to get the right colors out of the software. And that's where I think we will be using Imaging Edge desktop today to show you how you can do a batch edit of multiple files, which have been shot in a similar fashion. Or a similar lighting condition. Even if you've got around 2000 files and maybe every 10 to 20 are shot in a similar uh, lighting condition, you can actually edit one and apply that setting to multiple images. And that's exactly what we'll show you today. Hello, everybody, and today we're doing a very simple video. We're going to talk about how in Sony Imaging Edge Desktop we can apply settings that have been applied to one single image to multiple images. I know that the colors are the best when you actually use the proprietary software which is nothing but the Sony Imaging Edge desktop. So Sony understands its colors better when you use the Sony proprietary software which is the Imaging Edge desktop. So the Imaging Edge desktop has got two softwares. One is the viewer in which you can browse and view through uh, you know various images on your hard drive and you also have the Imaging Edge uh, editor. So now if I go ahead with this image and I see three four of these images have a very similar color setting because they've been shot in a very similar place. So if I want to apply a setting of uh, the image editing setting of this image to multiple images, what I'll have to do is open this image with edit and it opens an edit. Now I'll have to make the necessary changes, maybe brighten it a little bit, bring in the blues a little more because I feel it's a little too blue and maybe increase the contrast a little bit or bring up the shadows, bring down the highlights. Of course, the D-Range Optimizer is there. I go to uh, Clarity and maybe a little bit of Central Shading Compensation. I think it's a little too bright. We can bring down the brightness a little bit. And maybe we give it a little more of saturation. Saturation, that's right here. It's definitely not the best interface to be working with, but Sometimes the colors are much better when edited with this rather than with any other software. So if I, if I have this image right here and say I go back to the viewer, I can even open another image. So now what happens, I've got two tabs here, which shows that both these images are edited. One simple way to copy the file settings is just do a control C. I go onto this image and I do a control V. And what happens usually is when you have multiple images, like in this case, a lot of these images which are very similar and you want to apply it to all of them, there's a simple hack. So you can go to your edit view and you can actually save these settings. So I'm going to say save, but it's better to save it to a location. Save image processing settings and I can actually go to the same folder where I'm editing these pictures. And I can actually save this XML file to the drive. Now I can go to Viewer and I can actually hold down five, six of these images together. And I can say, apply image processing settings. So I go to edit in the Viewer itself and say, apply image processing settings. And I go to this and I select this particular file and I say, open. So it actually processes that image processing setting to all the images. So in one shot, I've got that particular image processing setting applied to all images, rather than doing it individually by going and using the copy paste command multiple times. So this works with several images which are very, very similarly shot. So now I just go ahead, close this. I can go here and I can say output. I can say continue. So it's going to save all these images 
to a location of my choice. Here I'm going to select the same folder where I want these images saved. So I'm going to create a new folder, call it samples because this is a sample I'm sharing with you. I click on OK and I say continue. So what it does is it starts saving all these files into that location. So in one shot, you've been able to multiple edit images and also save them to a specific location of your choice. So that's done. So you can actually go to that particular location. So I'm actually doing that. I'm just going to go to that location and see if all these images have gotten saved there. I think have somewhere here. I think we had our samples folder. And you will see all these images have been saved with a single click. So you don't necessarily need to individually save images in the editor menu, which was this, where you go through each of these tabs and then export each of the images separately. And now it's happened in one shot and that's just amazing. And I still say uh, it's the best thing to do when you're actually editing images shot with a Sony camera. Go ahead and use the Imaging Edge desktop to edit your images rather than use Photoshop, which just doesn't understand the colors well. Thank you. And do like and subscribe to the channel if this helps you.